In this video, I want to walk you guys through how I like to work with smoke grenades. We're going to talk composition, setting up the shot, posing, and of course, safety issues. Let's get into it. What's up, friends? My name is Pi. Welcome to SLR Lounge. So I want to get straight into this tutorial. This is how I like to use smoke grenades. This is not an end-all, be-all tutorial, but I'm gonna give you some tips and hopefully this is helpful to each of you. I wanna start first with just composition, right? What kind of a shot am I trying to create? So first, let me go ahead and introduce our lovely model. This is Kiara. We will link her up. Kiara, why don't you show them this dope outfit that you have on? So notice that what we have is, Kiara has this really cool suit with like an open leg and we chose this backdrop for several reasons. It's kind of this cool bridge that's near our house, so it's convenient. But also, we're surrounded by concrete, so we know it's a safe place to use smoke grenades, which are essentially fireworks. So don't use them in unsafe places, but of course, we'll talk more about that in just a moment. But what I also love about this is this is kind of like a very edgy outfit, you know, like kind of really cool, and it fits this concrete industrial vibe really well. So I have her position right here. Composition-wise, I'm gonna have her standing right where this center column is, so all the lines kind of draw into her. And we have light sort of coming from this side. So as you are kind of posing, I want you to look mainly towards this side. So as you're moving and stuff, we'll talk more about it, but that's your primary light direction. You'll also notice that we're shooting on this side as opposed to that side of the bridge because it puts the leg on the right where we're gonna have this really great highlight. You know what? I'm not even gonna talk anymore, I'm just gonna show you guys. Let's go over to camera setup. I'm using the Canon R5 for this. Honestly, you could use anything you want for this, including your phone, and you're gonna get a great shot. But what I would recommend is a wide angle lens. The wide angle lens is gonna exaggerate this scene and just, it's gonna capture more smoke, make it look more dynamic, all of it. Compositionally, so she's gonna line up to me. So I'm perfectly centered. Let's go ahead and start by just getting our settings. Now I'm at one one thousandth, let's see. Actually, I wanna bring this to one one thousandth just because when we're using smoke, I do wanna capture the detail in that smoke. So one five hundredth up or up is great. Uh, one one thousandth even better. The faster you can go, the more detail you're gonna get in the smoke as opposed to like kind of softness in it. And sometimes the smoke pops and you get these little flying things in the air and the faster shutter speed, the better. So talking ambient light setup, we're gonna to go to one one thousandth f2.8 and ISO 800. And so we're letting the ISO run up and that's totally fine. In this situation, I want the shutter speed to be up. I'm allowing the ISO to go up and at 800 with these modern cameras can do practically anything. They go up to 6400 ISO, it doesn't even matter. So we're at f2.8 and I'm at 15 millimeters. So I'm at a 15 to 35 lens and I'm wide, wide open. Now the next thing that I can do to make this composition that much more interesting is to get low. I like the shot that we have so far, but I'm gonna get down. And I love the articulating lenses that come on all these modern cameras now. So yeah, Kiara, I want you to rock into that hip. So kind of drop into that hip, exaggerate it, inch over this way just a little bit. Right there. Perfect, and yeah, look towards that light a bit. Now notice, I'm not touching the smoke grenades yet. We're not doing anything. I'm getting everything that I want dialed in. Smoke grenades cost money. I don't want you guys to be wasting them before you're actually ready to use them. So get everything dialed in. I love this shot, the angle looks so much better. In fact, if you compare that angle to the standing shot, just look how much more oomph it has. See, getting down low exaggerates the perspective, but it also gives someone a position of power over the lens. So Kiara's wearing a super high power, edgy suit. We're in this scene that's industrial. Getting down low just exaggerates the overall look. Okay, we've got ambient light dialed in. We've got everything going. So now, let's grab the actual smoke grenades. We're about ready to go. What I wanna do is pose Kiara, give her some ideas, and along the way, I'm gonna give you all some safety tips when working with these devices. All right, so let me show you my smoke grenades. I love Enola Gay smoke grenade products. I've actually been using them forever. We just started working together more recently. Now, you've probably seen me use the WP-40. That's my all-time favorite smoke grenade which has now switched over to the TP-40, which is my new all-time favorite. The reason why is WP stands for wire pull, and this is still a wire pull smoke grenade, but the TP-40 version is a 40-second lasting smoke grenade that is a cool venting system. 
So yeah, Nola Gay probably noticed that there were tons of people, models and photographers, using and holding these fireworks. So they're like, let's make a more safe version. So that is the TP40. It's much cooler to hold. It's a fantastic product. So this is still by far my favorite and the one that I use the most. And you can get it in whatever color you want. They also have another version, which is the twin vent version. And it's gonna come out basically both sides. I like both, but the twin vent version only lasts about 20 seconds uh, in, instead of like 40 seconds. And I like having the additional duration. If I want both sides, I'll have the person hold two of them and you can move. In fact, that's actually what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and set up the shot. A couple important things. So I have two of the purples right now. Let me walk through some of the safety stuff I'm gonna explain to you, we'll explain to them. First, when you pull these wires, you want to pull straight out, not up, not down, but straight away from the device, okay? We're gonna hold both these devices kind of right here, just in case that back opens up or anything goes wrong. We don't wanna be holding at the ends or anything like that. This is a firework. Sometimes fireworks do weird things, so let's be super safe. We're gonna hold like this. You're always going to move and keep it away from the face. So never point this towards somebody, towards a face. Even when you're, sometimes when we're moving up, right, we can tend to let this tip back. I want you to keep it away from the face, right? So all of your movements, it's okay if you point towards the camera a little bit because I'm pretty far away. Um, but your movements should kind of be up and the devices should always be pointed out. Again, we're under a bridge and surrounded by concrete because nothing here can catch fire. Do not take these into the forest or anywhere where there's brush or something that can catch fire. Dumb idea, and yes, many people have done it. Just, just don't go there. Okay, you got the movement? Yep. Okay. One other thing too is that the color on this can tend to stain clothes. So if it points back, it can actually get color onto the clothing, so we wanna make sure that we avoid that. If at any time it gets hot, just let it go, drop it, toss it somewhere kinda safe, and you're good to go, okay? Now I'm gonna have her hold both these, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can basically pull it and kinda set it up all at once. So what she's gonna do is bring these close together. I'm gonna grab both the rings with two fingers and I'm gonna pull straight down and then go to the camera. So once we're ready to go, I'm gonna pull, the camera's already set up, I'm gonna get in position. These will give me about five to 10 seconds before they start spewing a lot of smoke. So I have time to get in position. From there, your movement, you're gonna stay with your feet where they're at, but for your movement, let's go, um, let's mix it up a little bit. Like some strong poses where your legs are kind of apart, and then maybe after 20 seconds, I'll say like soften it up and then you bring the legs together. We're gonna pose and kind of move around. You're gonna do exactly what I'm doing, but better. So it's like boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, when you do it, it's gonna look a lot better. Notice I've already got the, a lot of the purple on my hands. Okay, are you ready? Camera is in position. Let me make sure that your feet are good to go. So scoot a little bit this way. And just do some movement for me. Let me see, like, you move it around. Get comfortable with the movements. Practice for one second. Yep, yep. Now, I'm, so you're aware, my camera's perfectly centered, okay? So anytime you want to, like, kick, like, if you kick the hip this way, you have to adjust the feet. There, 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 yep. Yes. Okay, scoot a little bit more this way. Right there. Perfect. Make sure I'm good. Yas, 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 yas. Scoot a little bit more this way, like one inch. There it is. Show me where your starting pose is gonna be. Perfect. Yeah, I spend a good amount of time setting this up and just instructing because I don't wanna waste smoke grenades. I wanna get this right in the first go and be ready to go. With each of the poses, so once you get to a spot, you're gonna hold. Get to a spot, hold. I'll tell you when to move to the next one, okay? You ready? Bring it to the center. Okay, I'm gonna go two fingers. Boom. Another one. This time she's gonna use a twin vent. This one's gonna go quick. So 
I want to make sure that I explain to my model exactly what's about to happen. With a twin vent, it's coming out both sides, right? You're going to hold in the middle. Don't let it rotate towards the body. Your movements are going to be up like this, down like this, but you're keeping it always out to the sides. You got it? If you don't tell your model this, if you don't tell the person holding, they often grab on one side, this thing goes off, and they burn their hand. Okay, you good to go? Boom, let's get you back in position. And this one, you just dance and move, but just hold at the, like, at the height of a movement, you just hold it for a second, okay? And then I'll get the shot, and then you move to the next one. So you can kind of free flow on this one, okay? There we go. See the spews. Dope. Dope. Notice how that twin vent went that much quicker. That was a real quick one. Awesome, y'all. We are done here. I need to go wash my hands. This is kind of crazy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna link up everything that we use below, including links to Enola Gate products so you guys can check them out. And uh, we'll link up Kiara, you guys can give her a follow. You guys can find me at Pygersa, and we'll see you all next time. Peace.